Welcome to another Mets blog mailbag where I try and answer one or two questions from my inbox throughout the course of the week. The first question comes from Gil in Seattle. He asks, I like Derek Lowe, but if you're willing to spend that type of money, how about Andy Pettit? Is he willing to come to the Mets? Well, I'm not sure that the question is whether he's willing to come to the Mets. I think it's more about does he want to pitch anywhere besides the Yankees? Um, I believe the Mets have considered him. I'm, I'm sure a lot of teams have. But the fact of the matter is he wants to pitch for the Yankees, and it's pretty clear the Yankees want him to pitch for them. It's just a matter of, you know, on what kind of a contract, how much money. I'm sure you followed, uh, you know, on the blog and in the newspapers. It's kind of a soap opera-ish back and forth about how much he wants, how much the Yankees are willing to give, blah, blah, blah. Uh, at the end of the day, if the Mets get involved, they're really just going to offer him leverage probably jack up his price with the Yankees where he's going to end up going anyway. So while I agree with you from what it would cost to get him at that point, you may as well just get Derek Lowe. He's the better long-term option. Our second question comes from Lisa in Fordham. She writes, why have the Mets not signed Orlando Hudson? Well, uh, Luis Castillo, that's why. Um, you know, the fact is they're not going to have two second basemen. Uh, so unless they can move Castillo, Hudson's not coming here, which is, I think, why you haven't heard a lot about Orlando Hudson. You know, the rumor bill has been kind of quiet with him, not linked up to a lot of teams. My guess is he's probably waiting to see what the Mets are going to do. If for no other reason than, uh, like I said with Pettit, it gives him a little bit of leverage. I do know the Mets are interested in him, and I'm pretty confident that he's interested in the Mets. But unless they move Castillo, which at this rate, it's getting worse and worse every day, it seems. I just don't see Hudson coming here. Frankly, I'd like to see the Mets cut Castillo, eat that money, and, and sign Hudson because he is really a perfect fit. I imagine you agree, um, you know, but I just don't see it happening until they move or can move Castillo. So don't hold your breath on that. Uh, thanks for the question, Lisa. And again, if you want to send a question into Metsblog, go to Metsblog.com. There's something in the sidebar there, or you can just send me an email. Uh, either way, we'll try to get, get your question on. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.